Joy Lab. Hi, I'm Tanya. And look what I found in the freezer section of my grocery store. I bet you have this in the freezer section of your grocery store too. Garlic bread. If I were to open it up and bake it, it would be a narrow loaf of French bread with butter, garlic, and parsley on top. And you just heat it up in the oven from frozen. I don't need to buy it from my grocery store. I know how to make freezer meals and I know how to take normal recipes and adapt them for the freezer so that I can, instead of buying these from the grocery store, make my own garlic bread and have it always ready in the freezer whenever I need to add some garlic bread to my dinner. And I can make it the way I want to. Freezer meals are all about making your life easier, both time saving and money saving and less stress and less mess at the dinner time. So let me show you how to make your own garlic bread and freeze it for use whenever you need it. For our garlic bread, I'm using a loaf of French bread, fresh from the bakery, minced garlic, butter, and parsley. Now, you see that I'm using minced garlic and I'm using jarred parsley. I'm trying to make things quick and easy. You could peel and chop your garlic all by yourself and you're welcome to do that. But to me, I don't taste the difference at all. And so scooping some garlic that's already been pre-chopped into my recipe is just fine for me. The same with the small, tiny amount of parsley that we're going to be using. Now where I won't cheat is in my Kerry Gold Pure Irish Butter. All right, is it really from Ireland? Is it really from cows that eat on the grassy hills of Ireland? I don't know, but I do know that Kerry Gold Irish Butter tastes so delicious. That's the butter we're going to be using for my recipe. We need half a cup of butter and to melt that. Eight ounces is a cup, four ounces is half of a cup. That's going in, the, this butter is going in the microwave to melt. Whew, that's kind of surfy, wavy. <laughs> well, it will still taste good. I can already smell how delicious this Kerry Gold Irish butter smells. Actually, any melted butter smells good, but this smells even better. My minced garlic is three to four cloves. I'm going for four cloves. A clove is a teaspoon. Watch how fast this happens. One, two, three, four. You could not have minced garlic that fast. It's okay to take shortcuts. Now the recipe says to brush on the butter with the garlic and then sprinkle with the parsley. I find that the brushing doesn't hold the garlic. See, the melted butter is going to soak into the bread right away. And you almost have to just kind of pour and spread it before it absorbs. See how quickly the bread absorbs that melted butter? means it's going to be delicious. Let 
Made sure I got enough garlic on both halves. Now I'm gonna go back and make sure I have enough butter soaking in every possible ah, surface of these two halves of this ah, loaf of bread. Trying to go all the way to the edges, because you have to. You don't want anyone sad that their piece doesn't have enough butter on it. Oh, so good. And I'm just gonna sprinkle on some parsley. It tells you how much to measure out, but I'm just going by sight. Because really, at this point, the parsley is just for decoration. You won't taste it too much. And if you have a picky eater, you don't have to put the green stuff on at all. Now, to make it into a freezer meal, I am going to put these slice, these half loaves into the freezer just like this. Once they're solid, wrap them in plastic wrap, wrap them in heavy duty aluminum foil, and store them until we want to use them again. So let me freeze those right now. And I will see you after they are frozen. Our garlic bread is frozen. Now that it is frozen, it's time to wrap it and protect it in the freezer using heavy duty aluminum foil. It's gonna be noisy. Now, there's two ways to play this. You can do it just like that bread from the grocery store freezer, which means you unwrap it, you bake it in a warm oven, and then you brown it under the broiler. Or you can take this out of the freezer the night before, let it thaw overnight in the fridge, and then at dinner time, all you need to do is broil it. My favorite is the second choice but either one works. So what do I write? It's, oh, it's garlic bread. Thaw in fridge or uncover and bake. 350 for 10 minutes. Then broil two minutes. So those are the or, and this is the definite. We have the good enough bread. We can get at the grocery store, or we have the good garlic bread that we made ourselves. And you saw how easy that was. Let's compare. On your right is the bread from the grocery store freezer section. On your left is the bread from my freezer section, the one that we made together. Well, the one that we made is clearly homemade. This one is much more uniform. The bread is exactly uh, Oval? Not an oval. Uh, I'm not sure what that shape is called. The parsley is distributed. My parsley is not so well distributed. Taste is what counts. Oh, it's going to be so hot. Ah, 
Hot, hot, hot. Woo, baby. There, that matches. Ours, theirs. It's good. It's better. You can have good or you can easily have better. Freezer meals are all about front loading the work so that you have less stress and less mess at dinner time. I have all sorts of resources in the description below. Scroll down, click around, see what I have to offer, things that will help you on your voyage of becoming a freezer meal master. Please like, subscribe, comment. If you do that, then YouTube will put my videos in front of other people who are interested in making their lives so much easier with freezer meals. I'm Tanya. Thanks for watching. Joy Lab. Learning done right. Learn more with Joy Lab. Like, subscribe, comment, share. Visit us at www.joylab.biz. Thank you.